Hey Saints, I have, um, this is Esmeralda, I have the Will You Die for Jesus channel in Isaiah chapter 15 verses 1 through 9. I also have um, the End Times Deliverance. Just before I get going real quick, um, I just want to make a point right now. There's this troll that dislikes my videos and... Um, the Lord has revealed to me that that troll happens to be Rachel Sheriff because I can actually see the dislikes in the, uh, there's a way to look at who dislikes your videos. And again, I don't care, you know, I, I, it's proof because I keep the, the ratings enabled. So I don't care who likes or dislikes my videos. I just consider them trolls, you know, and it's what it is. You know, I don't even get mad at it. So if she thinks that she's getting me upset because she clicks dislike, she's not. She has nothing else better to do. So much for being on a two-week so-called fast, right, that she says that she's on because she's not. Um, for her case, it would be a demonic fast. Anyway, moving on. Um, I have to tell you something very important, and I want you to test the spirits and seek Jesus Christ in prayer. Okay. Um, the reason for this video today is because I had an open vision earlier and I believe that it is a very encouraging vision and um, I want you of course to test the spirits take whatever I tell you to the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer do not take what I say at face value always test the spirits these false prophets on here will not tell you to do that okay they want you to believe whatever lies that they, that's, that's coming out of their mouth. Because when they run their mouth, nothing but filth and false prophecies come out of these false prophets that I expose their mouth. And um, false prophets in general. So anyway, again, moving on because I don't want to deviate from the topic at hand. Um, I had a vision that I saw in the sky. It was an open vision. I saw the clouds start to part. Okay. And it looked like a whirlpool in the sky, except the sky started to pull apart. And um, the whirlpool looks something like this. Hold on. All right, I'm going to try to get you a good image as much as possible based on what I saw. Okay, it looks something like this image. Hold on. Okay. Uh, let me find a... That's the best image I can get right there. It looks something like this. It was a whirlpool. It looked like a whirlpool. And then it was surrounded by clouds like this. See that? Surrounded by clouds. And the clouds, this is the whirlpool like that, and then the clouds were getting black. And the clouds, the sky literally started to part. So, the whirlpool started coming in like this, and on the bottom, and over here, and it got bigger, and the clouds started to part. Now, seeing that open visions, um... Reminded me of this because in those clouds, I saw a man that looked like Jesus in, in white clothing, but he was bright and light and he was coming through the clouds. That's what I saw. And it reminds me of this scripture. Yes, I look at the KJV Bible because the other versions are very satanic. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, um, anyway, so it reminds me of this scripture that I'm about to show you that backs up this vision. So I'm going to test my vision. Okay. I had a vision at the clouds of parting and I saw a man that looked like Jesus Christ. He was, he was enveloped in his most beautiful light okay and he was coming through the clouds so let's test my vision if it is 
of God or not. Okay, so let's go over to Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. This is talking about the end times. So I'm going to test my vision to see if it aligns with the scriptures of God. Let's go to the word of God. It says right here in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him, meaning um, the Gentiles. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so. Amen. In the vision, people were looking up at the sky. It's an open vision. It's like I was standing in the future. They were looking up at the sky and the clouds were parting and Jesus Christ was coming through. So this vision is backed up by this scripture here. Okay. Not like these false prophets. All power, all glory, excuse me, praise and honor goes to Jesus Christ. Nothing is done by the moving of the Father and the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to show you some more scripture backing this vision up. Okay. Let's see. Matthew 26, 40, 60, 26, 64. Jesus saith unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye the Son, yash, yash, um, let me say it again, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting, sitting on the right hand of power and in the clouds of glory. Okay. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and the, then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, heaven and power and great glory. Matthew 24, 30. Matthew 26, 64. Um, what else? Matthew or Nahum. Nahum 1, 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. In other words, he will not pardon the wicked. Okay, um, it's, you know, if they, re especially if they refuse to repent or blaspheme the Most High, the Lord hath said His way in the whirlwind and in the storm. So it was like a storm in the sky, and the clouds were parting. That's what I saw, and the, Jesus Christ was coming through, and the dust and the clouds are the dust of His feet. Okay, so with that being said, I saw people looking up at the sky, and Jesus Christ was coming through that world. That world, that portal or whirlpool, it looked like a whirlpool, like a portal in the sky, but the clouds were literally parting. Okay, so this is very encouraging news, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming. No man knows the day nor the hour. Okay, but the way that the environment looked, it looked like um, Jesus Christ came either sometime during the tribulation or after. That's my opinion. Again, because I don't know when he's coming. That's just my opinion based on the environment and the open vision I had today. Um, I went to the Father and prayed about this. I did ask the Lord Jesus Christ, um, was that from him? And he said to me, and I heard his voice audibly, and I did test the spirit. This is how I test the spirits. I asked the spirit, the voice that I heard, do you believe Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, King of Kings? Do you abhor, you meaning hate sin and promote righteousness? And the voice says, yes, for I cannot be in the presence of sin. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you, that's one of the ways to test the spirits. Um, a demon is not going to tell you that they promote righteousness. They can't even say that from their mouth because they can't stand to be in the presence of righteousness. They're not going to tell you that they hate sin. And they're not going to tell you. Okay, that Jesus Christ of Lord of, is Lord of Lords. They won't acknowledge that to you, but they will in front of the Father, even though the Father is everywhere. And then um, I asked the Lord to give me a scripture to back it up, you know, to give me a scripture. And one of the scriptures the Lord gave me was Joel chapter 2. Talks about. When the Lord's going to come, the clouds are um, being gloomy and dark. Remember Joel chapter 2. Uh, Joel chapter 2 talks about an army of locusts. But he gave me Joel chapter 2. I'll let you scan through the, uh, the verses. This is the verse I was given. Okay. A day of uh, the... 
blow the trumpet in Zion and soon an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is coming. For it is at hand, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. In my vision, I saw thick black clouds. Like the morning clouds spread over the, the mountains, the people came great and strong, like the like, like the like of whom has uh, never been, nor will there ever be any such after them, even for many successive generations. A fire devours before them. And then it goes on to talk about the day of the coming of the Lord, Arm, an, uh, great armies coming against Israel, the Lord rescuing Israel. Here's another one: the earthquakes, be, um, the earthquakes before them, the heavens tremble, the sun and moon grow dark, and the stars diminish their brightness. The Lord gives voice; give, the Lord gives voice before His army, for His camp is very great. So, um, it's talking about again the last days, and this also talks about the day of the coming of the Lord. So, the Lord Jesus Christ wanted me to tell you guys. That that dream was from him. It was an open vision that I had today. Okay. While I was at work. The Lord wanted me to explain to you. That. Um, he wanted me to explain to you that. The times out there are going to get very perilous. It's going to get worse. The closer he is at the door, the worse the times will get. He's coming, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the last days. That's what that vision was saying, that he's coming. So keep your garments spotless. Stay away from these false prophet demons, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you that out of love. Be careful who you listen to. Um, if the troll that keeps disliking my videos is watching this, you are not getting me mad. You're not getting me upset. I feel good with my place with Jesus. I check my walk with him every day because I don't know if I'm going to be in the rapture. So you're not making me mad. You obviously miserable. You're making yourself mad. And I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ has mercy on your soul. Ladies and gentlemen, you all have a wonderful night. I'm about to work out in my home gym. And I pray that Jesus keeps you safe.